Right, so we've taken Iron Rock. We're preparing to attack Thundering Falls or do the quest battle, the Battle of Thundering Falls. So I'm just building my army up a little bit, make sure I've got enough troops to complete this. Just waiting for the army to... Oh, actually, if I get rid of this unit, then... Yes, I can get all my units in one turn now, so we can attack next turn. I love how quickly the turns go now, they're so quick. Turn off all the stuff. Oh, hello. Rival power desires a change Crooked Moon on a defensive alliance. That's that little one that's below me. All right, we'll do that. They're paying us 300 as well. Sweet deal. Okay, then. So this is my force. This is the Battle of Thundering Falls and their forces. So we have more numbers, but it does say reinforcements expected. So got to be wary of that. And one thing I've learned so far in this game is that you don't underestimate dwarves. They're a lot tougher than they look. They've got a lot of armor, so they're hard to bring down. Uh, I can upgrade iron rock, so I'm going to do that. Just to get more garrison there. To keep it safe. Right, let's do it. Our army is ready. We've got some doom divers in there. They're going to help us a lot. So here we are. There's their forces. Lots of miners. Their reinforcements are gyrocopters. Some war machines. Oh dear. Okay. They've got some axe warriors, miners, got a grudge thrower. They're gonna throw grudges at us. What? Cool. Let's do it. So we have the superior numbers, but they, like I said, they're tough to bring down the dwarves. So you have to. That's why I brought more units than I probably need, just in case. I can attack them on both sides, which is nice, as this is an ambush by the looks of it. Oh. You stun these counter stormers. <laughs> Time for a rock, I say. I'm going to enjoy pulling these beers from their chins. First, though, we need to break their big guns. That's just cheating. I want some boys on that straight away. Stop their artillery from shooting, and we get more time scrapping. Just as Morg likes it. What you know? Just because they're sure, don't mean one or two of them ain't handy with their own drivers. They like fighting underground. So do we. Ask any rat man under Mount Red Eye. Right, boys, that's the plan. Immortals, get your choppers out. This one's gonna be fun. Here we go, then. So, my plan here, I'm gonna try and attack them on both sides for one thing. What is going on with my camera? It's on the wrong camera. I swear it keeps changing the camera. I'm on standard camera. That should be the one that swoops in and, as it says, camera swoops down into the action. It is not doing that. It's going up and down. Swoop, damn it. There we go. Now we're swooping. A yeah, bit of a camera bug, it seems. Anyway, we're going to start off with my Doom Divers. We're going to put them diagonally over here. We can rain down some flying goblins onto their brains. I'm not sure whether to shoot at their grudge thrower or maybe get my boar boys on that, actually. Then I'm going to have a line of Orc boys. They're going to be my front line. Oh, don't want them. They're my front line. And perhaps a bit wider, actually. So I'm going to charge them up. We're going to give them the old hammer and anvil. They're going to be the anvil. Put some missiles off to the sides. They can rain on them when they come in. Some spears to protect them. Uh, let's get these boys out of the way. Now for some units to be the hammer in my hammer and anvil. I'll take my black orcs, my orc boys, and my orc boar boys. That's a mouthful. They're all going to come from the opposite side. They've got quite a way to run though. Right, that should be fine. I think that's all there is to do really. We can just kind of adjust as we go from there. Some goblins, we'll put them over there as well. One extra unit for that side. Okay, I think I'm good to go. Just gonna double double check. I'm gonna double check. That's better than double check. That's a double check. Um, maybe I'll adjust these a touch. Turn them around a bit. Oh, turn them the wrong way. Like a pro. Okay, they're fine. They're fine. Just leave them where they were. Right, double check complete. Let's get to action. Select all my army first so I can move them quickly. Start the battle. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to move up straight away. I'm not sure if they're going to move. Try and get these boys up as well. 
Okay, I need to get rid of their grudge throwers quick time. They're getting off arrows on me. Let's pull these over there. They can just start raining down straight away. I'm gonna get my boar boys straight into the back of the grudge throwers. We want them gone as quick as possible. Oh, they've got some hammerers. They are a tough unit. I'm gonna have to watch out for them. So my front lines are engaging. It looks like they're all charging into the one unit, which is good in a sense, because it means that they're all committed to an attack, and I can flank around the back, but I have to be quick, because that unit isn't going to last very long. Especially when one of the units they're fighting is hammerers, who are pretty devastating. Let's get Grimgor in there. He needs to be getting some action quick time. I'm going to try and bring him around the back for a flank. We're about to hit the grudge throwers. My missiles, they need to move up a bit to fire on their missiles. Where's all these boys at the back? Hurry up! So slow! Right, uh, I've got these spears. I'm gonna have them. I'm gonna have them flank actually, instead of chase the missiles off. We'll get the boar boys to do that. Get the boar boys into the missiles. That will disrupt them. Let's get these missiles firing their missiles. Okay, looks like their whirly gigs are apparently coming in, which means their chopters are on the way. Chopters? Sure, why not? Chopters. So we're gonna get those into there. We're gonna bring the Black Orcs, we're going to get them round the side actually, we're going to get them come round, do some flanking because they're going to be pretty horrible once they do a good flank and a good charge also going to get the Boar Boys to do a charge in the back of these units, I probably should have done this earlier to be honest I don't know why I didn't no? oh, they. what are they doing? can't make their mind up Boar Boys charging in I think they're dropping bombs on us now though they definitely are Okay, let's get the missiles firing on the chopters. Yep, chopters. Whoa, what's going on here? Why is everyone routing? I've got three or four units just suddenly routing. That must be the bombs. Jesus Christ, they're strong. I thought I was doing all right. Now everyone's fucking dead. Shit. Shit it. Okay, stay calm, stay calm. Regroup, everyone. Find your testicles and come back to battle, please. Still got the hammers around. Oh, this is not looking good. I am worried. We keep firing on the chopters. Don't know why I keep calling them chopters, but it's the name I like. Okay, my boys are back. Let's get these back as soon as possible. Pretty much just trying to hammer everything into everything now. Grimgore's still in there, giving them hell. Black Orcs are doing okay. Their general is there. Or Lord, I should say. I'm still getting used to calling them Lords rather than Generals. Stupid Attila. Okay, we're slowly wearing them down. Why are you walking? Run! Fools! Got my Doom Divers still. They're probably a bit unsafe to use though. To turn them off for now. Got some Boar Boys still around. They routed earlier, I think, so we can get them back in. Okay. We've got some fleeing units. We really need to try and get their lord down, I think. He's over here. Let's get some more people on him. Valar Minewood. Let's get the boar boys into the back of this slot. That should help. I think I should have used I could have used these boar boys a lot better. I think they're a very powerful tool that I did not use very well in this battle. I shouldn't have sent them after missiles. It looks like we're starting to route some of their units, which is wonderful. Still got a couple of chopters around, let's shoot them down. Okay, it's looking good. They all seem to be white flags all over the place. Are we good? Everyone on them? The hammerers, the hammerers that are left. They're the only unit. There we go. Woo! Close one. I'm actually a little bit surprised I won that. I thought we were done when those bombs dropped. It's like Hiroshima. Oh, there you go. You can see how strong the hammerers are. They're the only ones that got 100 kills. A close victory. Close indeed. We will slaughter the captives. Mission successful. We've gained gambler's armor. And a hero. Goblin big boss. Crown of command as well. Let's go into Grimgore. And an idol carver. 
All sorts. All sorts of goodies. Okay, let's head back home. I'm going to go on Force March now. It'll get me halfway home. Probably a bit unnecessary, but whatever. Black Crag's okay. Still need to sort the obedience out, though. Could upgrade my shiny pit. 2,000. Let's do it. That'd give me more money in the bank. Grimgore's got a skill point. Can we use it on... Campaign movement range seems like a good investment. Always is. Let's... Ooh. So I just ended the turn, and it looks like... Thor Grim Grudge Bear is coming after me. What the Jesus? Where's he come from? Oh, he doesn't actually have that much of a force. But like I said, can't underestimate the dwarves. I'm just going to run away. I need to recover a bit first before I go fighting any more battles with the dwarves. Winds of magic have changed. It's cool. Alright, let's get back in Iron Rock. Safety of our precious home. We'll regen a little bit, and if Thorgrim wants some, we'll go and give him some. He wants some. He wants some, I'll give it you. That's what Grimgore said to Thorgrim, obviously. I'm going to drop a few units out. Just to save a bit of money. Let's try and get this big boss bludget face smasher to come around. Got a family of face smashers, it seems. If there's anything I can give him. Nope, belongs to other people. He's a goblin big boss. Let's see what he can do. So we still have the red fang to the south. I think this will be my next point of attack. Valaya Sorrow. In the Eastern Badlands. I am slightly concerned about Thorgrim though. I really don't want all the dwarves attacking me from the north. Let's see what happens. Oh! Is he besieging me? I think he's actually besieging me. Now, what do the Crooked Moon want? Oh, just military access. Okay, that's fine. I thought they were going to declare war on me then. I'm actually being besieged by Thorgrim Grudgebearer. He's only got like eight units. You know what? Come at me, you dwarven tit. I've got my garrison with me now. He's got seven units, one of them being hammerers. I, don't, I really don't know about this. I could auto resolve it and do it. And definitely win it by the looks of it. But I'm going to fight it. Why not? I feel like it's not going to be as easy as it should be. Like, I feel that the average that it just gave me to win, there was about 80% win chance. I think that was a bit ambitious. Because <laughs> dwarves are hard bastards, basically. Okay. Reinforcements are coming in over to the left. I'm going to come over on this hill a little bit. Don't know why. Completely pointless. Closer to my uh, reinforcements, I suppose. Put a melee front. So we need a plan of attack here. Boar boys, I'm gonna put them out wide actually. Hopefully they can. Uh, we maybe, can we maybe hide them behind this little tiny hill? Maybe they won't see them. I want to try and get them to charge up and get into their uh, grudge throwers. That would be advisable to get rid of them as quick as possible. Um. And we're going to move the rest of the army. Actually, I'm going to put these over here. Because they don't have anything that can chase down missile units. So we're not really in any danger in that sense. Let's bring my reinforcements over. Bring them a bit closer. I feel like I should move my boar boys up a little bit. There's not enough distance between them and the main army at the moment. We'll start to walk them up. Hopefully they won't spot us. So I'm just waiting for that gap to increase between the uh, grudge throwers and the main army. Although it looks like they're keeping up quite well. They've got some speed on them. Right, so how do I approach this? I think I'm just going to charge them in pretty soon. Let's get my reinforcements. Whoop. Let's get my reinforcements moving over a bit. Get them a bit closer. We're going to close in. 
I really have to be cautious with this one. I think I need to really try and make the right matchups. Which is going to be easier said than done. Oh, I forgot about my Doom Divers. Oh, damn. I forgot to even set them in a good place. Idiot. Well, I've wasted opportunities there. Whoops. Well, there's mistake number one. Forgot about me Doom Divers. My most powerful unit. What a boob. I think the time is nearly right to strike on the grudge throwers. I'll start moving the orc boys up. Grimgor Ironhide is ready for action. I actually really love the addition of the lords and the heroes and stuff that you can have in battle. It reminds me of uh, Battle for Middle Earth 2, Lord of the Rings. Did you play that? Did anyone play that? I'm sure someone must have played that if you're old enough. That was a great game. You could have Aragorn or Gandalf holding the gates of Minas Tirith. Classic. Okay, Doom Divers are coming in. Let's see if they get some good shots. Ooh, very nice. Right into those miners and the skirmishers. Wonderful. Although I think they'd be better served if they hit the hammerers. Or Grudge Bear. I'm going to go for the hammerers. Got to get the Doom Divers flying at the hammerers. Hopefully they'll land some death on them. So I've got my reinforcements moving up. They're getting peppered a bit by the missiles. Got my missiles. I'm going to move them around so they can start to hit them in the side and back. My boar boys have just reached their grudge throwers. I love these doom divers, man. They're so cool. So freaking cool. Okay, let's get the spears up to break the charge. Looks like they just hit the hammerers with the doom divers. Lovely. So I'm just going to charge these spears in, kind of as a waster unit, so that no one else really gets charged. And I can start to move up my melee units, get the black orcs out there. Let's get Grimgore attacking Thorgrim. So many names with Grim in it in this game. Right, we begin. Let's start to move these flanking units around quick time. We're going to need them. Some spears. Let's get them flanking. Missiles are popping off on their missiles. Okay. I really should have brought my uh, reinforcements over a bit closer, I think, a bit sooner. We're routing their skirmishers. Grimgore and Thorgrim are going at it by the looks of it. Got some boys not doing anything there. Hammerers, they're pretty beaten down actually. Let's get into the hammerers. Let's try and get rid of them. Gonna charge these swords into Thorgrim. Let's have a little watch. Thorgrim and Grimgore throwing down. Axe on axe. Such a cool looking unit. Okay, looks like we're right in the hammerers. Awesome, this is looking good, this is looking good. This is actually a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. Let's watch this charge. Let's get into this. It's not really a wheelchair, but I feel like calling it a wheelchair. Because it moves and he's sat in it. We'll call it a wheelchair. Victory, yes. I want to get Thorgrim dead though. I want to kill the bastard. I'm not going to let him run away. I want him dead now, everybody. On him. Get him, Grimgore. He's nearly dead. Got my orc boys on the way. Shoot arrows at him. Where are they going? I just told them to attack him. They're running the other way. I need him dead. I need him dead. I need to punish him. Does he actually die or does he just... I assume he would actually die. To kill a legendary lord this early, though, seems a bit... much. He's nearly dead. You take a lot of missiles, I'll give him that. You can see his health on the left there. On the unit card. 300, 262 now. Struggling to keep up with him. The boar boys should be able to catch him. If not, that will be embarrassing. His chair carriers must have some strong legs. Even though they are little legs. Strong little legs. Boar boys are finally catching up. Although they look a bit exhausted by the way they're running. Right, they're on him. They're on him. He's got 37 life. Finish him off. Strike him. Strike him down. Christ, he's... There we go. 22. 5 health. Come on. Yeah, it was arrows that actually got him. Get down, Grudge Bearer. Wonderful. Well, we've killed Thorgrim Grudge Bearer.
I think. Unless he's somehow still alive. He doesn't look very alive. He only got 18 kills. Oh, he was fighting Gaw Grimgore most of the time, to be fair. Awesome. Decisive victory. I don't know why he attacked me. Why he would attack such a well garrisoned place. Thorgrim is no longer in that army, so I guess he is dead. Well, there you go. Okay, let's get the hero in the army. He'll be useful. Let's proceed with the turn. Grimgore's got a skill point. We shall give him. What should we give him? Devastating charge. It's always good. Actually, let's give him. I think that would be more use weapon strength. Because he's going to use his weapon more than he's just going to charge. So That'll make more sense this instant. Now let's skip the turn. And see what... Oh! Underway interception of Dwinbar Cromson. He's part of Thorgrim's army. So I am going to attack him just to punish them. I'm going to water resolve it though. Because it's pretty pointless to play. Of course a decisive victory. We've got nearly a grand from that as well. Slaughter the captives, that'll teach him. To mess with Grimgore Ironhide. None of that stuff. Yep. Oh, the green profit. Minus four obedience and all profits. Oh dear. Okay. Let's have a look at our town. So we're building our, our cities up a little bit. Starting to improve them. Things are a lot more simplified in Warhammer than the previous Total War games. In terms of buildings and stuff. Which is good in a way. It's good and bad. I'm certainly not a fan of most games being simplified. But some of the campaign stuff can be a little bit tedious in this game. So I'm going to build up an army. With Grognok Face Smasher. So he can go down and attack Valerius Sorrow. Grimgore's got another skill point. Somewhere. Hatred. 15 plus whip. We'll do that please. Yep, that sounds good. 15% weapon strength. Hell yes. So I've just been examining the map, having a look around. I've realised that Thorgrim's army, the dwarves, are really close to me. And I am at war with them, as well as the Red Fang. So I need to be very careful of the south, it seems. Because Thorgrim came from the north, so I was a bit confused on where he came from. There's these up here. They're another greenskin tribe. So there's Black Iron Mine there. That's... That's a dwarven place, so I could go and take that soon. Black Crag is right there, so they could walk to it and try and take Black Crag, but I think we've got a relatively good garrison at Black Crag. I can build something at Iron Rock, though. Could build a goblin watchtower. That gives it a nice garrison. That's pretty sweet. Only 1,500 as well. But I'm not sure what I should get. So you have to really try and build. See, I could get something like this, which gives me money. Or this one gives me obedience. You can see on the left there, obedience plus four. So you really have to try and build balanced cities in Total War games. You can't just have loads of military buildings or loads of infrastructure buildings because it will just get unbalanced. So I'm going to try and keep it even. I'm tempted by the Goblin Tower though because it means Iron Rock will be pretty safe then. And we could end up having a lot of enemies in the north and Iron Rock will be very vulnerable. And then we could always use more money because it means we can get a bigger army and more units, but... Screw it. I'm going to go for the Goblin Watchtower. Cool. Let's head down to Valerisora then. We're ready to go with that army. There seems to be no one here to defend it. Oh, it does have a garrison of... Damn. It's got some biggins. Orc biggins. Some orc boys and some goblin archers. Wow, okay. I'm a little bit scared of the biggins. I've never fought orc biggins before, so I'm not sure how tough they're going to be. Probably pretty damn tough. Guess we're going to find out. 